This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Today we are going to be taking a look at a game that I'm very excited about. I want to thank everybody over at GMT for sending this out to us. Um, and we're going to do a live play through probably around the first week of January, which I'm very excited about. Um, <clears throat> and that's Charioteers. Um, just an absolute... Uh, you know something, I could sit here and gush over this game uh, in the beginning of this, but what I'm going to do is we're going to go down to the table. We're going to take a, a brief look. I'm not going to give you all the rules, but we'll come back up top and we'll talk about this. This is glorious, folks. Let's go so check. I'm not even going to try to fit this entire board because it's, it's about five, four feet long and it's absolutely glorious. I'm not going to go over all the rules. I'm going to break everything down a little bit and just explain a few things uh, about the game and, and how it works. You're going to have a player board of a color and you're going to be that particular chariot. You are going to race around for three laps. The other lap lap counter is, uh, is down, where this goes is way, way, way down there on the other side of the table. These, uh, these cards, these extra cards would also be on the other side of the table, but I wanted to keep them in here. So you're going to race for three laps, and the, the final piece, uh, the lap counter, is on the board, which is beautiful. Um, these are crowd, uh, crowd cards, and you're going to, both players can use these. You're going to get a certain amount of cards, and you're going to try to match up say, um, symbols. So for instance here, I have... Uh, I, I would play these three cards, and I would play the symbols that match. I have one, two, three, four, five, six sixes plus um, uh, plus the number six. So that would I would move twelve. Actually, I would be able to use these as well. So it would be nine plus six, which uh, which would give us fifteen. And I would move around the board fifteen times. Now. This means sprint. That means I, I, I would be able to sprint around. There are different symbols on the cards that you'll be able to do. You'll be able to attack, recover, take a corner. Now, what, what does a corner mean? I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. But you, when you move, if, you don't, if you're just moving the sprint, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Now, when you come to the corner, you would go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, because you're taking a corner. But if you were doing that same thing with the corner uh, uh, move, you would be able to go right around. Okay, see what the symbols mean something. Okay, you're going to be good at certain things. Okay, and you're going to be able to make uh, add bonuses and su such by moving these. They will move up as you do certain things. Okay, which will put you in certain ways. You're going to have these these hidden cubes, and when you play your cards, you're going to play your cards face down. You're not going to let your the, the player that know that what you're going to do. And behind these, there are going to be certain things that are going to give you bonuses that you can use. You're going to use one of them, okay, when you when you determine, and then you'll have a way that you'll be able to draw others, so you'll have it. So nobody will know your your opponent will never know what you're up to, which which adds another element of surprise. You're also going to see some symbols on here like attack. When you get attacked, you're going to take a certain amount of damage. These Once these damages uh, pile up here, they start moving into this box, okay? And when they move into that box, it's going to be minus movement, okay? So when somebody plays like three, um, three attacks against you, uh, you'll get a minor. Uh, and if there's four, there'll be a major where you'll get two, okay? You'll also have the ability to use uh, the recover symbols, which will help reduce attacks, okay? So that is going to help you. You're going to have a die here. That is going to be the emperor's favor. When you do that, you're going to get certain bonuses. To set up these cubes on what your abilities are at the beginning of the game, you are going to 
pull a skill card and that is going to give you what how, what you're going to be proficient at and start at and you're going to continue to drive uh, go now as this card gets pulled these cards move up so you'll always have an idea what the next turn is as you are drawing cards and trying to formulate what you want to do because it'll determine wow do I want to use those curves just yet or do I want to attack here or wait and save and hold up my, my cards and hope that I get some additional uh, attack cards that I can put together a good enough attack that would cause uh, my opponent damage. You're going to do this and race around three times and at the end of the third lap or, or, um, or, or, third, or uh, third phase here, whoever is the farthest ahead wins the game okay or uh, passes the finish line um, just again just another fantastic game from this fantastic designer who who really just puts together and really really does some wonderful things here with this um, you know there are a ton of chariot games out there but I have to admit that this one is just it's easy to play with anybody it's it's something that people can get into very quickly it's easy to explain and and teach and and get people going the rule book uh all of 11 pages and most of it on the back i think it's less than that is just you know you get some examples throughout to help you through things uh it really just makes things so easy and and, and just absolutely fantastically does a a, a, a great job in what it does. Um, I, I'm just blown away by this. The quality, uh, the beautiful components, um, how the the actual and like I said, there's a you, you've got um, a bunch of different racers here. So I mean, you could play with a bunch of people, and this is just a great party game and easy to teach and fun if you like racing game. You know, a, a cherry, an ancient Roman chariot race which is just glorious why don't you play this and hop lamacus at the same time what a great day that'd be all right everybody uh, let's head up on top and get my final thoughts on this masterpiece with with rule book only a, a, a 11 pages long um this game plays in under an hour which is just absolutely uh, uh, unbelievable uh, Matt Hawkins, who, who, let's just face it, is a genius. Uh, this is um, his fourth game. Um, and he did a, I, I butcher this every time, Sagahara, uh, which is probably a, a, another fantastic game from GMT. Uh, the quality on that, the gameplay on that. It is a two-player masterpiece uh, set um in in feudal japan um i thought that I, I i i never thought anybody can make anything better than that uh or 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 mac can make something better than that and and i have to say this game here charioteers uh, charioteers um is 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 as good as that as anything and it's a game that you know there's a lot of chariot games out there but this this is something special. First of all, I couldn't even fit the board onto the whole camera. Um, I mean, I would have had to jack the thing up, up, up into the sky and you wouldn't have been able to see anything. Uh, it's absolutely huge. It's, a, it's, a, it's just about a four foot board. Um, and um, it just adds to it, the, the size of it adds to the magnitude of the race. Um, um, playing two players, we, um, my son and I, what we did was uh, we we took two chariots each, so we had racing teams, uh, just so it wouldn't get crazy, and it, it still played under an hour. Um, it just does everything right with the three laps, uh, the crowd cards, the emperor die, uh, how that works into it. You, you, you know, things can happen. Your damage when when you attack, um, your skills how you can increase that. There's so much going on, and yet 
you think you, you think with such a simple rule rule book only 11 pages long that there wouldn't be a lot of strategy here there is a ton of strategy trying to get the emperor's favor and 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 race and win the race are two whole different things and this game just does it all and does it gloriously i mean that's the only way i can put it um tremendous tremendous game and it's one of those games that i think uh you really should go out and get gmt the quality of course through the roof i say that in every video but you know where are we lying folks where are we lying uh probably one of the best companies out there that consistently gives you quality all the time so I really suggest that you go check this out. You won't be disappointed. Until next time for War and Peace, this is your old pal Ron.